We are starting our morning with a little concert debut of the recorder session in fourth grade because by Ashley Brown. Chelsea, um, I cut off all her bands. All her bands? Oh, the ones that she earned? Yes. That's fine. You start fresh. This is Except for, um, this recorder has been through all four children, and, by the way. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, that says Kaylee, Abby, Chelsea, yeah. where's your name? Put your name on it. I have not bought a new recorder no. <laughs> for four they, children. I've done what, good. This is what they gave uh, Kay, like, yes. Kaylee in fourth grade. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Hot cross buns. <laughs> It was very good. Okay, now tell everyone what happened with Daisy this morning. Oh, so, well, um. Chelsea got it before so Chelsea you. Chelsea went to go, like, walk her in the morning while I slept. And so, um, and Chelsea told me that Daisy was tugging her a lot. And so she just let her go and see what she's go where, where she's, she's going. Where she's going to go, yeah. And she led her up to our house. Uh-huh. And so at Chelsea opened the door and she ran straight up to my bed and jumped on my bed. And laid she, down. She never lays down. She lay down in this little corner. With and you, I, Chelsea dogs. said you were awake, but you said you were only half awake. I was half awake. Yeah. Yeah, so Chelsea had told me that that had happened. And then, like, not even joking, you know, like an hour later, I mean, Chelsea had taken Daisy back home. But Ashley came in and she was like, was Daisy on my bed? <laughs> she didn't remember very much of it. And I was like, oh, you were asleep. You were actually asleep. I was late, kind of. They have a teacher work day today, so all of the kids are home today. And then I was And then, yes, she has her, her game, her cheer game for the UW team. men's basketball tomorrow. So, you are going to go get your bedroom looking nice. I need hangers for your clothes. So, organize your closet. And then you may make yet another cake. Because I knew she'd want to make another one, so that's why I bought two. Go. Go. I actually didn't even get a piece of that cake, so. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our day. I am, of course, back on my computer. I'm actually not even on my computer. I'm watching a show, but I'm um, working with my nails. Um, they're just so dry in the morning. And so I'm trying to try and cut away the cuticle dryness. And, oh, they're just driving me crazy. But today I get to go do something fun. I'm gonna, my friend has offered to take me to go get a pedicure. Uh, she has offered to take me to get a pedicure for my birthday. So I'm gonna go pick her up. And I was able to wrangle the Tesla from Jason today. He wasn't gonna go skiing and then he was gonna go skiing and then he wasn't gonna go because the conditions weren't looking so good as of last night. It was 50 degrees um, where his brother lives, which is like just right around the corner from the pass. And they were like, no, 50 degrees, it's just gonna be sloshy, it's not gonna be good snow. And then, not even kidding you, at 7.30 this morning, Jason's brother called, and I was like, dude, the kids don't have school today, why are you calling? And he said, you know what, it snowed like eight inches overnight. So get your butt up here, we're going skiing. And so Jason got up um, and started getting dressed to go skiing at like eight o'clock and was at the door by 8.15. And I convinced him to take my car instead so that I can take my friend to get her nails done in his Tesla because I asked her if she wanted to kind of go for a test drive um, and she said um yes of course and Jason's kind of getting kind of sick of putting miles on his car and so he's like all right I'll take your car because I'm kind of anyway he's putting a lot of miles on his car I'm saving a ton on gas because it's wonderful we use it when he's home and so I only drive my car legit like only three days a week and I'm only going to like the Target, the bank, and the post office. <laughs> Not going very far. So it's quite nice. So I'm gonna finish kind of working with my nails a little bit. Keep the kids going on their chores. I think all four of them are awake. I've only seen Abby and Ashley, but I know the other ones are awake. And I'm just kind of chilling here in the, in the room um, until they get that done and then I'm gonna head out. When Jason gets home, he will just be home, but then we are taking Kaylee to get her checking account, finally. Uh, we have to be all together in order to get it done, and this is the first day that we've been able to get, make that appointment happen. And then, I can't remember what else we had planned for tonight, but Jason had a good idea 
for me and him to go out for a little date night tonight. So I'm going to see if he wants to take me up on, or take, if I can take him up on the offer, I should say. And just as a little side note, I've made some extra money on this side. And I think I'm about halfway to having enough money for a luau. But the reality is, I thought a luau cost about six or seven hundred dollars for seven people. Uh, no, double that cost. It's about twelve hundred dollars <laughs> to take us all to a luau. And so I was like, uh, I didn't have that in my budget. So I've come up with the other six hundred ish. Um, I've done a scan. I just got paid for one and I'll get paid for another one that I'm going to be doing on Thursday um, next week. And so I think I have enough money to book the luau. I'm not too worried about booking it, like rush booking it or anything, because when I looked at the calendar on their website, um, it had all of April open and all the time slots on each day open. So I'm not terribly worried about it. So I kind of want to make sure I have the money um, before I book it, but I am excited because I found one. Now I can't remember what it is, but it's the one right by our hotel. Um, it's just I I saw I walked past it when I do my like boardwalk walks in the morning. Um, so it's one I think it's I don't remember what the name of the hotel was, but it's just right there past the West End. Anyway, it's right on the water. But it, the one thing that sold me, besides the flamethrowers and the knife throwers and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff, the one thing that sold me on it, and we'll talk about that when we actually are there and I'll do a whole video about it, was the stupid kids buffet. <laughs> that they have hot dogs and mac and cheese and food for kids, because, like, I didn't want, my kids aren't going to eat, two of my kids aren't going to eat half the food that that they're going to have at the luau and yes you pay a, a lot of money so what I'm kind of paying for is to make sure that they actually get a meal now that they have a kids buffet and then the show is really what you pay for and the experience and the ambiance and all that kind of jazz so I'm very excited all the kids are very excited to go ahead and do that we haven't done it since um, I was pregnant with Ashley so that's kind of a fun new update to our trip I'm also replying back to your comments. I'm sorry for the clickbait. I told you it, you'd figure it out really quick that we are actually in fact going to Hawaii. Um, sorry to do that all to you, but it happened to us. Like we went through that. So <laughs> replying back to you because a lot of you are like, you got your Hanua guy. And yes, I, I did get it. It came at a cost. Yes, it came at a cost, but it will be worth it. This is a fun way to send Kaylee off out into the world and to experience this with her boyfriend. And it might be one of our last chances to all go together at the same time. Because Kaylee and Abby will technically be on college schedules next year. It will not be happening. I don't know if they'll be able to go with this. So it's one little last hurrah before my kids start out on their own, which is very strange. All right, while I was working here at my desk, I realized there's a lot of garbage that's kind of been piling up around my garbage. And I was reminded of this. Um, it's a hubcap. Yep, that is in fact a hubcap in my office. I also have some more things. I also have some of these. What you say are these? I'll put them down here. Um, they're dots from the road. They're reflector dots. Why, why do I have these? They're just broken up. They weren't taken off the road illegally. They were just on the side of the road. My dear daughter's boyfriend has taken it upon himself to collect road trash and give it to me. <laughs> I don't know why it started. He just seems that that's an appropriate gift for me. And he's just started to collect things. Yesterday, I was blessed with the presence of the hubcap so I've got to find a creative way to like I'm not gonna use them obviously but I've got to find a creative way to like display them do something creative with them or pay back and give it all back to him somehow I don't know. <laughs> he's funny he's quirky it's his way of connecting it's fine it's just funny because he every every few days he's like, oh, 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 I found something for you, and, and I just cringe. Okay, what did you, <laughs> what did you find for me? Um, 
this is why we're looking forward to him coming on our vacation so much because he's just he's fun and he is engaging with each one of us in our in our own ways and I just love it he's gonna be really um, fun with the the girls and and he'll be fun with Abby and Kaylee they'll be able to you know go off and do their own things and stuff so anyway just thought I would share that I have I'm the now I'm the new owner of a hubcap that I don't need all right, Jason got home from skiing. He had a good time, yes? Yeah, it was good, it was good. I'll answer it. One little clip that you got with your brother? Yeah. Correct? All right, we're having fun, huh? Yeah, man. Hey, all you out there, all you YouTubers. <laughs> this is my brother. Hey, huh. we're up at Alpental on a beautiful, warm day, actually. Yeah, it's pretty warm, you can see. Oh, pretty kind of Northwest concrete skiing, but it's good, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, you're standing on my pole. There you go. Fist bump. All right. Fist bump. All right, cool. And then he helped me make this little lunch because I've been doing oil and lotion treatments on my fingers and I'm trying to, not to wash them as much today. So he made me a little lunch. Chelsea is making her lunch. She's got a little pizza and dad is helping her make a salad, correct? And apparently this ice cream bucket is in the way. And Ashley was bored. And she went ahead and made some cupcakes again. Do not eat. <laughs> That's funny. My kids like to leave notes for each other when they don't want us to eat their food. And Jason made a salad. So I'm going to open this oven up, get some of this heat out here. It's cold. Also, sadly, my plans for getting a pedicure today were delayed. We're going to do it a different day. It just, just suddenly didn't work out for my friend who um, was going to take me to get my nails done. Totally fine. We will find a time in the future to be able to go again. Um, I have canceled that appointment. and I'm just going to nuzzle in here and edit today's video. And then Jason and I are going to go and look for a new printer. Because, you know, that's the adulting thing that is exciting about life. Um, <laughs> We realized he hasn't had a new printer at the store for probably 10, 15 years or something like that. And he was complaining. He was trying to print, print off like accounting work. And he's like, oh, it's just not working. And I was like, when did you buy that printer? It's been a very long time. I think he's due for a new printer. So that's just exciting. Probably go to Costco first. But then since we don't have any new, but then since we don't have any office stores left in town, We'll probably have to go to a different city if we can't find something at Costco. Well, life can be kind of boring when you're just doing adulting things like buying printers and oh my gosh. Just gotta make sure I want Drew's coming so I uh -huh. can make it happen. Yeah, that was a really risky move there. So, um, it was planned. Right. So it's only risky if you hesitate. The only other thing besides getting a printer we've done today is sign Kaylee up for a checking account three months before her 18th birthday when she could have done it on her own, but it's helpful to have her have the account. I am attached to it, and if anything goes wrong, I can help out, whatever, but. Can transfer money in if she's away, you know, stuff like There's that. advantages to that, so that's what we've been doing for the last hour, and um, now we have another hour until we have to take Abby to driving. She actually is officially done with her online courses. She's passed her online test and just has her drives to do. I think she has like five more drives. I don't know how many total you have to do. And then she just has to wait until she can actually get her driver's license this summer when she turns 16. Um, but we're trying to decide if and where we go out to dinner tonight. Have adult time. Have adult time. <laughs> That's all we've done all day. Is well, I guess we've had kids with us along the way, but um, we can't go until we pick up Abby from driving because Kaylee's off at her friend's house now. She drove separately, so I don't know. What should we do? I don't know if I want to like not fancy or anything. Just can maybe you know, just not be at home. Uh, Panda and go to our favorite little lookout. I don't want to do that. That's what I was worried you were going to say. <laughs> well, that's the tone down. It's, it's no, it's just I don't want to like have a nice... So you want to like, sit down somewhere? Yeah, that would be nice, but it doesn't need to be like Daniel's broiler, which you weren't going to do anyway. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's like that's not what my, my expectation is. So, it's just not you know Panda Express from a uh, you don't like parking Indian garage. Food. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna eat. No, I don't want Indian food. There's, we're gonna okay. We're gonna figure out what we want. We still have to like hustle kids back and forth. Chelsea and Ashley are just kind of staying at home and because they have to do dog duty every two to three hours. But that dog, man, loves she those loves kids. these kids. They, she came over to the house again today and just, oh my goodness sakes, and just crawls up on the couch and cuddles up next to Chelsea and uh, just so cute. Well, if one of the girls shows up to the house without the other one, she drags them to our house to yeah. find the other one. Yeah, if they go and get her from her house and then go for a walk. Chelsea did this morning. And Yeah, and then Ashley did it this afternoon. Daisy will just tug on that leash until they come she back to our house. straight to our house. And then yeah. straight to find the other kid that's missing. Yeah. They, they've done it three times today. It's, and it's just so cute. And I know it's making, you know, the doggy's mom very happy to know that, like, her dog is happy. So, and that she loves the girls. I think it's reassuring to her that she's made the right choice in choosing Chelsea and Ashley to be the babysitters for the dog because she's tried to do, like, kennel and other babysitters and it just hasn't worked out. And so it's... The it's, dog's a little picky up. Because even when I went over the other night... He doesn't like you very much. She hadn't seen me in a while, so yeah. she was just like, who are you? Yeah. And it took her a while to... So she yeah. definitely loves the girls. All right. We have wonderful lighting. Jason and I, we came to Jack's Grill. It's really noisy in here, so I'm going to just go to montage. But um, we did not think we were going to get in here. We thought we were just going to check it and see. But we got a table. Um, it's expensive, so we, I think... We were anticipating not getting in, um, and then when we did, we're like, oh, shoot, now we have to pay the expensive tab. <laughs> but it's really good. We've got some artichoke dip here, and I ordered steak, and he got some lobster mac and cheese. So, should be pretty good. Good way to end our day. Standing underneath the lights Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets yes. Very good dinner, Very thank nice you. Dinner. We did I not expect... our dinner together. Yes. I didn't expect to spend that kind of money tonight, yeah. but it was very nice, so thank you. And, uh... I just think we didn't go into dinner thinking we needed to have adult conversation like oh we got to talk about this like sometimes as parents you're like okay we can't talk about this kind of stuff around the kids or whatever but we definitely like had good adult conversations yeah. and uh it was good it was good to like be able to have those kinds of conversations away from the kids and have the dedicated time so i i don't know we adults together we adults together we spend a lot of time together compared to like we have more other time people together. we have more time maybe that's good for a marriage maybe it's not I don't know. <laughs> some days i need you to go skiing <laughs> <laughs> why do you think i support you going skiing yeah. so much we did have an inter i did make a, an interesting point with him the other day uh i think it was leading up to monday when it, you would he was going to have monday off and i i could already sense the the he walks up to me whether i'm at my desk or doing laundry on Monday mornings and Friday mornings and he's just he's once he's done doing what he needs to get done at home no 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 no, no to be fair mm -mm. <coughs> if he's paid bills or looked at things online or packaged up a package that he's got to mail off he will he will start to like pace and like he'll come into my office or he'll I like come to in get things done and he'll be like are, are we what are we doing next well where are we going? What are we, what, what's on our docket today, you know? And my mindset for the, for Monday, this past Monday, was I've got to get some stuff done. Like that was, I needed to stay home. I needed to get some stuff done at home. And so I told him on Sunday, I was like, I, I need you to know that I'm not available to do stuff until like noon. And he was like, oh, does that, you know, bother you that I come and ask you right away? And I said, no, you just pace. And you're very antsy when you don't have something to do. But I, I, and I said, I only have three days a week 
when the kids are all gone and you're gone to do what I want to do, I guess. And so I do enjoy doing stuff with him when he's home. But if I didn't get stuff done in those three days that I needed to get done on my own time, I need to steal part of my time for when he's home. And I think we've we'll gotten go accustomed. We'll go to uh, I was gonna do Target, but see if I might be. But it, no, we need a blo uh, an iron, so we have to go to Target. Oh, we gotta go to Target. Sorry We're getting ice cream Sorry too. Sorry to interrupt. We need ice cream and an iron, like a shirt iron. I don't iron clothes. Yes. I iron, uh, what are they called? The little beads of Ashley's? Pearl, be pearler beads. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I've ironed more in our marriage. Oh, uh, yep. I don't question that at all. I don't iron. That's not the wife I am. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> You're making me laugh. Um, you can anyway. go back to talking about why you want me gone sometimes. No, I just needed to like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's I fine. think most wives, I mean, say it how it is. We are no longer in the state where I need your physical help with the children during the day. Like, I would have died to have your help when the kids were little. I and know. I, wish I would I have had died a job to have your that. help. Like, that would have been so nice yeah. to be like, can I leave two, three sleeping children so I can run to Target by myself? I would have killed for that kind of thing. But now, it all, well, that was when I was working seven or six, six days, days a week. week. Yes, it was a different time frame. But now we have so much time together that it's like I need to not have that time together tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> because not because I don't want to spend time with you. It's because I don't have time to get my stuff done. Okay. All right. There's times when I don't want to be around you. Yeah, I know. That's why you go skiing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same way. So anyway, that's what we kind of learned. But we are at Target, and we're going to get an iron. I have literally, this won't shock him at all. I have never bought, bought purchased. But purchased an iron in our entire marriage. The iron that we have was from the Buy Nothing group. I, it was given to me. I didn't pay, pay for it. I That's why it, I don't feel I good at it. Put it to You have <laughs> put it. Even the two shirts that we took from my niece's wedding in Utah, I didn't even iron those. I took them to a dry cleaner. I took them to a dry cleaner. I knew he was going to say that I didn't take them to the dry cleaner. He took them and I picked them up. I still Did you it. catch the eye roll? Do you want to catch the yeah, kids? Yeah, you should put a big old eyes on there as it's rolling. <laughs> if you can, just the big ones in my eyes. Yeah, mm -hmm. That would be good. Yes. I've literally never priced out an iron. Well, so all the way we're taking to, the cheapest uh, one. <laughs> They go up to like... Oh, I'm not going to get a $20 one. That one won't break, probably. No, 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 no. We're gonna, so we're really going to at least quick. get seven more dollars of, of quality. I mean, that's one shirt a year that I could iron for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Tripling, I'm not dedicated to that, though. Up your, I, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> from zero to one. That's pretty yeah, good. Well, I, one every ten years. Now you're up to one a year. Mm, well, I don't know. We'll see. You'll probably be ironing every day by the time I'm dead. Mm -hmm, I guess. No. Because I buy the clothes that don't need to be ironed. <laughs> I'm not dumb. So this is what we mainly need the iron for. Correct? Mm -hmm. Perler beads. Lots of hearts. I have a pink one, a yellow one, an orange one, a blue one, a green, 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 green. A green, a teal, a gray. Clear. Clear, and then a white. White. That's why we needed a new iron. <laughs> I don't iron dad's clothes. I make perler beads. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do this and you gotta get something to eat and then go to bed, okay? Okay, I'm on my second to last one. Oh, I guess I have three more, two more after this one. And we're gonna call it a night. Say goodnight to everyone. Dad's cleaning the kitchen for me, thank you. Love you. And we're gonna say goodnight.